Hi, I'm Sam, and here we are back at the shop again. And it turns out that we've got the transmission today just arrived. Chris Wiseman just dropped it off. And it looks great. It fits. That's the best part. <laughs> and uh, this is the, the biggest thing probably, or the big speed secret to this whole project, is going to be the drive from the engine to the rear wheel. And the transmission is an integral part of it. It gives me an extra low gear so we can take off from a dead stop. And that's very important because it's if you fool around with a push truck or get it towed, then that's just all time lost. I'm pretty much convinced that your 60-foot time at Bonneville is just as important as your 60-foot time at the drag strip. The sooner you can get going, that speed carries all the way down to the to the end of the five miles. So a couple of miles an hour at the beginning is a couple of miles an hour at the end. So that's what we need. My name is Chris Wiseman. I work with Traction Products, a family-owned company that's been in racing for about 45 years, doing Formula One cars to Indy cars uh, to drag motorcycles and, and Bonneville vehicles. So inside the trans here, I have a gear set that comes all the way down this side, and then I also have another gear set that comes down this side. This side of the transmission is the low range, and this side is the high. Actually, for the low range, it would zigzag through the trance this way and then out, and then through the high range, it goes out this way. And we do all the shifting uh, through the inside of the shaft. Uh, so there's two air valves that would sit here, so this would be for low and this would be for high. And it's a full power shifting transmission. So in other words, he doesn't have to get out of the throttle or get out or put the clutch in. He just selects the shift and will engage the next gear. It can be a very violent shift, and in racing, we, we accept that. And this is also a drag race on the salt. If we're going to try to go 400 miles an hour, it's important that we don't waste any time. Normally, the stock transmission is geared to take you to 80 miles an hour in first gear. Sam really needs that first gear to take him to 180 miles an hour. And you can't do that without this. This is now the new first gear. So we put this in there, and this will take the bike to 80 miles an hour. Then we shift it into second in here, and we're still in first on the bike, and that'll take us to 180 miles an hour. After that, then Sam will shift the bike transmission to, into second, third, fourth, fifth, into sixth, and uh, as quick as, the, as the, the, the engine can take him there. What we did was take off the sprocket from the normal bike, and on the output shaft that comes out of the engine normally, we have it come into our trance here. From there, we actually will have another shaft a jack shaft that will come out of the transmission and go through this hole right here in the back of the bike. This is also the pivot center for the whole rear suspension. So as the, the bike bounces, it's not going to change anything in the gear train. Then on the other side of the bike, we'll have a pulley and we'll have a belt drive driving back to the rear wheel on the other side. And everything is made as rigid as we possibly could. We have a one piece housing here that, that pilots into both plates. Everything pilots into each other, so, so we don't have any dowel pins or anything like that to try to hold everything together. We actually use the, the mating aluminum parts to, to pilot and center everything. Well, here we are, we got the transmission and things are looking up. We got a new engine and we got a new rear drive to get rid of the chain, which is a belt drive. So Hopefully that'll solve our reliability problems plus give us a whole bunch more horsepower.